Hey guys, this is John of Kaduna reporting for GT on Hashtag Sustainable Sunday. Today I said to pick up my camera and go in search of more sustainable content away from my comfort zone. And that took me on a journey to Sabo within the Kaduna metropolis in Chukwu local government, northwest Nigeria. And I came upon this dump. Most people yearn to rule kingdoms, rule empires and countries and gain all the power that they can possess. But for this group of young men, they've ruled their kingdom and their kingdom is named Crash. For some of them, they have ruled this kingdom for as long as they can remember. But for some others, this is just a means to an end. You may see trash, worthless bottles, plastic bottles, waste, debris, pollution and all. But in the eyes of these young men, they see gold. And the gold that you look for in mind, they see it from the trash you throw out. Okay. How will they get all these things they use? They use company. Okay, when they pack them to sell to company. For Awol and some of his friends that didn't want to be caught on camera, this is a way of life that they have known for years and also a way to end honest living. Most of them are students and they shuttle between doing this business and attending schools. Though I don't know how, I don't know the toll it takes on the academics, but they seem to be doing so fine, balancing both. Everything found in this dump is of value, from old footwears to broken bottles to cartons, cardboard boxes and all. Everything has a price tag to its name. After all, there's wealth in trash. What is your name? Of? Hey, my name is Kalipa. Kalipa? Yes. Oh, you can do your shakafara when I eat you. I don't know. 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 I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 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 to one of us and you want to come up with them. Okay, so who they are now who are to share about Miss Yaramus Amariba? Okay, so I ran out now. They are even cooking as our Yasia Arana to see and the Takama. What a time, Malaka do Balaka Samari Baba. Okay, I can send home a day to me. When you come up, Laka look at our Mariba, the Bakatapa and Aniba. Okay. Working with other young boys that go through neighborhoods to get this trash and also households that sell their trash to them. They sort through this trash to different companies to be sold to bigger recycling companies that pay them cash. Waste collection points like this are found in different parts of the metropolis scattered around. But if you are not really interested or looking out for them, you will pass them by and you won't even notice. For instance, this particular point, I had been passing it for years and I had never taken note of them till I became more sustainably aware and I realized that there was gold here. These young boys or this group of young men have seen gold where other people see trash and they have taken away the burden of being menaced to society. In this very place, every single item is of value. From plastic pet bottles to old worn out shoes to cardboard boxes to aluminium cans to glass bottles to plastic covers of bottles every single thing here is of value first the waste that collected from local waste speakers or from household or from households or individuals that donate their waste to them or sell their waste to them 
And then this group of young men sought through these ways and look out for what could be redeemable, which in most cases are everything. And they saw them, uh, uh, they, they grouped them from plastics to glass to aluminium to metals to clothing. After sorting and grouping of this waste, they are then weighed and sold to recycling companies we usually who usually come once a week and according to this group that i met they usually come on saturdays or sundays and the waste are sold to them per kilogram this is a bag that just came from a waste picker and they are sorting through them it was also of great interest to me that there were some single-use plastic bags that were of great value to them the ones that they usually use to wrap um, our pet bottles, plastic drinks, were of greater value to them than the normal shopping bags. And they were going to recycle the ones that they come that they used to package bottles, um, water bottles, um, soft drinks. Those ones were of greater value to them. Now the bag is being tied up, and afterwards it's going to be weighed so that the value of whatever is being weighed will be given accordingly to them. The value of trash that they get is dependent on the quality, quantity of the trash being brought to them. This young lady came with a plastic bag full of pet water bottles, but they were only valued at 40 naira because the profit margin was not going to be favorable to them. It would have been more profitable if she had brought a big sack of bottles like that and then she would have gotten close to a thousand naira for those but for these it was only good to fetch her 40 naira and to her it wasn't a fair deal a big bag like this could fetch her a thousand naira a thousand five or even up to three thousand depending on the weight of this type of bag When I asked the young men if they knew the environmental importance of what they were doing, they just didn't care. All they knew was that this was a business and they found value in it and they knew people had value for what they were doing. And so they were doing it as long as it was going to put food on the table and keep them away from the streets. This group of young men the world might have been unfair to them. Situations may have pushed them into this line of work. But most importantly, they are doing honest work. And at the same time, they are saving the environment with or without them even knowing that they are doing so. So to me, they are great champions of the environment and they should be applauded for. And if you are, even your locality, you find waste collection points like this, you could sort your waste and bring the recyclables to them and even the things you feel are not even recyclable they are recyclable and they have value for them so bring it to them whether you're selling it to them or for free you're just donating it to them you are giving value to someone that needs this trash instead of literally around and especially in nigeria where we have poor waste management systems these are better waste management systems for us till they can fix the glitch <laughs> it was great for me to step out of my comfort zone to meet these heroes of the environment that they don't even know that they are heroes and to get to know what their line of work was and how they were contributing to our environment positively they say not all kings live in castles and it definitely is true. These young men don't live in castles, but they have made castles out of your waste. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's not my regular style of video. 
and yes i'm still trying to get the hang of everything but i hope that you like subscribe and if you've watched up to now bro you're doing great so until my next hashtag sustainable sunday video remember that you can be the change that you want to see bye bye